Hi, welcome back to the end of day two. Let's hey, let's go for the what the hell? The ball, not, all right, let's go for the magician. Nothing here is coincidence. The answer to every question is in the cards if you but look. Rescue the missing Empire soldiers from a town plagued with corruption. So, with, with the modifications is growing scourge, scourge, prepare to fight corrupted and avoid the Empire, lose gold for every Empire killed. So, and we can have a companion progress. No? Well. All mages are my <laughs> children. This one, however, I would rather disown. And we're gonna decide on... Um, of course I'm gonna take all the encounters with the uh, tokens. And let's go for the present sun. So we need to fill the blade, all the new stuff, and uh, basically everything. And let's start. With our dead a prepared. casual call to heroism. How many adventures start thus? Too many, to be honest. Is there any adventure that starts with For 100 a years card? I have thought about nothing but the game. I was defeated, it is true. I became complacent long before then. I thought I knew everything about the game and what it could be. Now you see before you the extent of my research. I have crafted this game anew. Your conversation with a fur trader is interrupted as Morclaps arrives in a flurry. The whispers to speak of trouble at the edge of the Empire. The town of Westwood is suffering against the blight. Okay, don't more. Uh, let's ask about Empire protection. A small garrison is meant to be protecting the town, but apparently they are all either dead, missing, or drowning. Mm, what makes Westwind special? I've traveled far to escape the oppression of the Empire. Westwind gave me freedom, and I intend to return the favor. This is such a strange voice for him, but oh, whatever. Where Westwind is? Westwind sits of the outer edge of the Empire, while the Empire focuses on the capital. Its nobles and merchants, those at the fringes, are neglected. Okay, uh, let's head to Westwind. You return to the markets and ask if any traders headed to Westwind might meet an escort. There are three options a stonemason, a footballer, a weaponsmith. Let's go with weaponsmith. You arrange an uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, uncomfortable ride jumped in among the many tools of a weaponsmith headed far west. But I'm gaining myself a soldier's sword. You arrive at the town of West Wen. To defend the town, you will need to locate as many Empire soldiers as you can before the Blight invades. In my day, thieves kept their distance. None would pick pocket a mage for fear of failure, or worse, success. The market bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the lands call out to passers-by to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on the crowded street, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tummy. Turning quickly, you discover a pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. You jump to your feet and catch a glimpse of the thief as they wave through the crowd. Okay. Oh, I think this must say no. The tangled maze of people proves too much for you, and the thief makes their escape. I hate this card. <laughs> they place mm. themselves in these dire positions, and then expect a hero to come rescue them when things become too much. I know, right? While patrolling the outskirts of Westwind, you hear the clash of steel and the unmistakable groan of corrupted. Your investigation leads you to a distressed nobleman perched on the roof of his carriage. Thank the gods, I was heading to the tea with Duke Kilbert when we were ambushed. My husband raised me here to tie them off, but the ball was now dispelled into the forest. The noble pierced fearfully at the tree line. If you stay here and protect me, I can pay. 
I'll grab the soldiers. Duh. We rush into the forest and quickly encounter a squad of Empire soldiers battling the crafted. Let's see if the mage can help you here. I hope he does. Well, actually, he can shield me. Well, that's very. Yeah, uh, yeah I forgot that. Uh, he has his own skill and his own attack. Malaclipes, a magician, a jester, and a vagabond. When activated, Malaclipes cast a protective spell on you that can block a single hit. Okay. Yep. If thank nothing you. else, I'll get yeah. out of this. Yeah, and as long as I'm not being hit, the shield is active. Okay, different 30 attacks from the enemies. Ooh. Ooh. I, I will take this one because I want to stop it. And weapon and armor tokens. Uh, will like the like uh, uh, advancing in weapon or armor tokens, it will go on in the further um, <laughs> in the further maps like I know throughout the whole play you don't want to finish them in single run. If the corrupted dispatched soldiers turn to you, I'm sure we could have handled it, but thanks for stepping in. I guess we have to go back to escorting his highness, sir quivering blanket of mercy off to his palace. Uh, let's up into the sense of defend. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's gonna be bad. Oh, I can. can I re okay, I can reload. Reload. You know what? Fuck! The dice are fair, and thus you have lost this round. You ward fall on deaf ears and the soldiers trudge back to the duty carrying the noble to his estate. Your supplies are running low. I know. Make your choices carefully. You find some of soldiers turned up by Nodorus and I will fight to free them. I don't wanna waste my gold in case we will need to bribe some more of them. Yep. There's that. Raider, from the frozen darkness of the far north they come. Northerners can perform combo attacks, use repost with single-handed weapons and do extra damage immediately after you defend. By sea and sun, fate and fane! Yeah, and I can use my repost even <laughs> if I'm far away. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they have some nasty attacks. Oh no, Malakrypes, he's dead. Uh, how can you see? Oh, that's Bumper. They are very nice. If you need to <laughs> get the shield token, I think this is helpful. I think we've got like eight. Ooh. Like a compass. It indicates the truth of all directions. Give me that. Wait, did I equip that? I don't remember. With the murderers dead, you free the soldiers. Let me see, yeah. And you can expect, yeah. It's like 8 out of 30. That's nice. Commerce thrives in even the most unusual of locations. Okay, I wanna see. No, I don't have anything worth my time. 
Okay. Maybe I'll buy some cream. Mm. Nah. Wait, I want. Oh, there's the leaf. Here we begin to see one of the small ways I've changed the game. Each challenge differs both in their rules and their objectives. Even those cards which were once the stairs now vary per challenge, as you will see. The west wind tower bell chimes feverishly. The town crier blow bellows. They're scrapped to decide the town. They broke through the stairs and into Lowe's Lane. Our brave swords have gone down. They're out to sort it out. You arrive to find the West Wind's few remaining soldiers huddled at the entrance to its forest area, loudly. We cannot let the corruption spread. For the good of the town, we must dispose of everyone who has been dated even a little. Well done. We join in the fight against the corrupted. And where are my soldiers? I had to. Inflicted. The first touches of corruption bring forth the darkest elements of their victims. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. Use a finisher before they recover. Yep. I hope this works! Here it does. That's one of eight. Ooh, those were just hit hard. And well, luckily, I can't hit my soldiers, my allies. With the corrupted threat removed, you've ensured that these soldiers survive to aid or survive to aid the town's defense. The soldiers who help you scavenge what you can from the remains of the poor souls taken by, by the corruption. I would like some food. Thank you. Life itself, in exchange for life. As you hike through the mountains, one fine day you come across an injured traveler. Though he's clearly deeply wounded and barely moving, you sense something disturbing about the cloaked figure and approach with caution. You mortal, come here, the creature commands, his voice rasping. I need sustenance to heal myself, and you will provide it. You draw your weapon and the beast quickly raises its arm to defend itself. Spare me, and I will make it worth your while. How? Three days ago, I happened to feast upon one of your kind, a holy man of some nature, I believe, who could no doubt cure you of your wounds. Grant me a pittance of your blood to restore my strength, and I swear I shall bring him to you. We of the less never break our word. Okay. As you lower your blade, he suddenly lunges at you. The creature continues to draw blood from your arm. It won't kill me, so... Okay. It takes more to regain his composure. You will not regret this. I would have recovered my full strength in time, I have no doubt. But I admit you have been a boon to me this time. He gestures at the darkness, saying, The humans who dared to think they could best me in combat lie fall in the clearing to the south. Their ambition was as foolish as their deaths were quick, but perhaps they had something that would be of use to you. The shadows seem to gather the, about his person until nothing remains. Yay. You set out with a flaming torch and soon arrive at the scene of slaughter. A dozen armed men have been recently buttered here. Among the remains you find no decent equipment, just the tools of farmers and provincial soldiers. 
As you leave the carnage, you step on a blade hidden in the shadows of the grass. To the victor go the spoils. <laughs> do not wield a weapon you do not wish to see turned against you one day. Well, we won't attack any shadows, so... Your companion has his own story to tell. We must wonder if this is a tale of a hero or a villain. You arrive at the city markets to meet with Mark Lipses' associate. You find him sitting on a blanket by the sewer gates. You can't tell whether he's a goblin, a human, or an animated pile of greasy rags. A few wilted daisies and duckweed died with rope are flopping on the ground around him. Mark! Mark Lipses calls the creature uh, arms out straight. I have found a favor to ask of you, my handsome friend. The greasy goblin man raises his hand to stop the bar's bubble. Then gold first, you know that. Mark Lipes looks at you expectantly. Okay, I'll give it. Mark Lipes steps forward as Mark counts the coins. Mark, oh bean! The bard looks fur fur furtively around before quickly waving at his shoulder. I require help in removing a certain illness. Mark considers Mark Lipes for a while. The kind of that kind of information costs more than a coin. Use blather in the jointly. I will require a test of skill from her. He turns and points at you. Pick a flower. Pick a flower and eat it. The greasy flowers displaces me the words. Mark Lipes notes as if this were a fair request. Eat the luminous purple flower. The flower has a crispy burnt texture. You feel an intense wave of heat emanate from your stomach to your neck and you collapse to the floor. You wake to Malakrite splashing you with water. Mark has left and you see him attempting to steal a seed from, from the baker stove. We'll come back later and try again. Of course I didn't die. Mm, let's sell our equipment. We won't use that. That we won't encounter any and I mean that we won't encounter any um, shadows they are from one of the DLCs now your chance no, presents no, no, itself no, 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 at last no, no, stand no, no, no. in the defense of the peasantry what noble traits you display already let us learn what sort you are. Strong, clever, wise. The circumstances under which you come here put the lie to that. In the second round the, of the competition, you sit opposite the age frame of Huntley Toothless. He boasts about once being silenced of the Thieves Guild. Yeah, sure. Okay, my throwing skills are horrible today. Thank you. <laughs> Huntley crumples in defeat almost instantly. You're lucky I'm not 20 or 30 years younger, he says, grumbling. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take a word from the purser on the way out of the tavern. <laughs> the shadow folk appear to have found your trail. Oh. We follow frenzied rumors of vampires and werebeasts to a der derelict farm deep in the lowlands. A thin former tilling the rock soils looks up in the spirit hope at your approach. This a little time was, was taken by a monster with body cold and gleaming eyes. They came. They came through the walls. He points a shaking finger around the hills. Sure enough, you find the boy huddled at the back of a menacing cave. As you draw near, hulking cloaked figures emerge from the shadows to summon. Okay, remember when I told you that we won't encounter shadows? Yeah, one of the best hits. We knew you would take this simple pain. Now relinquish your power. <sighs> yep. Yeah. 
Of course. Yeah, yeah, we won't encounter shadows. It's the first real card we put Shadow Elder. The royal lines of Lysa Hoar houses are blessed with privilege and more importantly, power. Elders can summon shadows before entering blood madness. Use a way to avoid their attacks. By no, 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 no. No, I'm trying to run. Yep. Oh my goodness, no. Take that. Oh my god. Rock knives, when can I take? No, 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 Malakrabs, Malakrabs! Yep, oh, I was killed. Yeah, all we can do is try and it's like. Yes, yeah, so that would kind of funny. No, 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 run away, run away. Oh, no. Just die already. Whipping the peasant falls to embrace his son. Thank the gods, Timos, you're the god. Thanks the gods, you're the gods. The small family gathers a dusty bundle of what they can in gratitude. Give me some food. Ugh, whatever. Yes, I, I will take it. Thank you! The Empire reaches too far. The North has gone from a loose collection of tribes to something to truly fear. Okay, I yeah, this is a Another to chance to redeem yourself. Atop Let's see how you handle it this time. Atop West Wen Town Hall is a large bell tower. It's used to signal the day's end for the workers in the mines and surrounding fields. But now it will summon West Wen's defenders. Do you wish to summon soldiers who have recruited? Yes. As night walks west, you can sense the corruption rising from the shadows all around you. It's the survey, and the soldiers have managed to recruit. We have gathered a large group of soldiers to defend the town. Just hope we won't meet any more. You must survive till morning when Imperial reinforcements will arrive. Let's give you a ride. Right. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, I'm inspired and only. That's the only reason I can get. <laughs> oh no! Your rising speech imbues the soldiers with confidence and zeal. I like Emperor do more damage. May the gods bless you, hero! Shouts a farmer listening by the stables. He's quickly bound back into the inn for safety. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I won't use that. of West Wen. As the final vestiges of humanity are erased, the terror wakes. Use Bash to break the terror's craft armor and defeat it with, the, with a finisher before the Vaginite. Give me that! Oh. Okay, at least I tried. No, 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 I'm okay. Mm -hmm. 
they can die. No. Run. Okay, we are only That's one way to try avoid try avoiding attack. It was a failure because the mark has a shield to the hit back. At least I tried. A mighty creature of chaos felled by your power. Does it satisfy you? This bloodshed? Yeah. Knowing those you destroy were once simple peasants but they were going about their more. day. Once the corrupted behemoth falls, the rest of the minions flee. Their spirits broken. The soldiers erupt in cheers praising your valor. You can rest until morning, ready to greet the reinforcements with a with a town already saved. The magician returns to the deck, but now we only begin our stories of fate, folly, and magic. Do not think I am satisfied with this, but at least we have a place to begin. As you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Yeah, but I think we'll just go one by one as it is on this, on this track down in the bottom. For now, that's gonna be it. it was magician, and the next one will be high priestess. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon.